It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Washington Commanders and the Cincinnati Bengals. And it comes your way next. Now from the riverfront of the Ohio, sellout crowd has arrived at Acor Stadium in Cincinnati. Good to be with you, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, we got a couple of teams who love to throw the football. And you know how guys say, hey, we're not going against the other offense. We're going against the other team's defense. Greg, these star wide receivers, you know they're watching what the other guy does on the field here today. Oh, in their minds, there's no question. They are competing against one another. And I think that's what makes this league so fun is when these guys, they know each other, they study each other, they work together in the off seasons. A lot of times they're friends, but come game day, there is no question. At the end of this one, yes, they want their teams to win, but when they put their two box scores up next to each other, there's going to be some bragging rights come this offseason. Here's Evan McPherson. And off we go here in Cincinnati. This taken in at the 8-yard line. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The Commanders come out with the man they hope leads them into their new era. Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick in this past draft from LSU. Greg, this is the man who won the Heisman Trophy with the Tigers in Baton Rouge a year ago. Here we have a guy, Mike, who's probably one of the most dynamic athletes that we have in the entire NFL at the quarterback position. He can create so many problems for a defense with his legs, but make no mistake about it. He is far from one-dimensional. He's both willing and able to carve a defense up with his arm while using his legs as more of a secondary weapon. If there's one knock on his game at this very moment, it's the fact that occasionally he'll kind of lay one up from time to time. Nonetheless, if he's on his A game in this one, we could be in for a real treat. Try again, it's second and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. That's to the third round pick, Luke McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down at the 30. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. On play action, Daniels. Quick throw, taken in. It's a pickup of 13 yards. Good for a commander's first down. You see the first down pickup there by Luke McCaffrey, and certainly a name a lot of NFL fans are going to recognize. Obviously, the son of Ed McCaffrey, the brother of Christian. And his ability to really work in traffic, make difficult, contested catches. He's going to have to earn some of these opportunities. He had 11 games with at least one receiving touchdown. That led all college football last year at Rice. I think this is a young player that's going to surprise a lot of people and maybe surpass some expectations some of the folks on the outside maybe have placed on him. Come to the line now on second and two. Again, it's Eckler. And he'll take this one forward for about three. And that's a first down. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short. Play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground. Play it safe. Pick up the first down. They'll run here with Eckler. Down to the four. It'll be second and goal.
off the bootleg. Here's Daniels. Back in the end zone and intercepted. That's the safety, Von Bell. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. Burrow, RPO, get it to Chase. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. We hear the term RPO so often, Mike, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent. The lineman cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a lot of really fast snapshot decisions or else it's going to lead to a penalty or him holding on to the ball too long. So it's something that teams want to implement, but maybe not quite to the level that we see in the college game. These curl routes, he's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback friendly to the ball and really nice job picking up the first down and he's going to be brought down up past the 45 every once in a while it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here the quarterback just dumps the ball down a quick underneath completion and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest and that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Just take what the defense is giving you. When you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath, hitch routes, quick game, now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. To the left side, caught by Chase. And they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. They get 16 on that connection. It's a Cincinnati first down. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. But think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often, so that might be his first target. I don't think it's going to be his last. Play action now. It's Burrow. Open man is the tight end sample. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. This is a great example of why teams want to stay out of what they call passing downs, where a defense doesn't have to honor the run. In this case, they do. And man, the play action pass just works off of that and can really lead to some chunk plays. Off the play fake, here is Burrow. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. T. Higgins, the intended receiver on that one. And now it's going to be third down. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. He's got a receiver. It's Chase. And he's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, 
that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one on one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are, and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do. A great chance to convert that early turnover into points. Here's first and goal. They'll run with Moss. Powering forward. He's in. Zach Moss. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Taking care of business on the ground to get the score. And Greg, the big guys up front, they deserve some praise on that one. Absolutely, Mike. And it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block. But in this case, give credit to the entire unit. They did their job and they reward their offense with a touchdown. Evan McPherson now to kick the extra point. He's got it, and the Bengals will take a 7-0 lead. After the TD, on is McPherson to kick this one away. This returnable from the four. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The commander's offense ready to possess the football for the second time. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. They'll go play action here with Daniels. Now he takes off. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. Here's second and two. From the gun, it's a give to Eckler. And he's going to get it. First down, taking this one up past the 40-yard line. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass. And I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. They'll go back to Eckler here on first down. And a good job following his blockers. A gain of seven. It'll be second down. Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. That's caught by Eckler. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. One quarter in the books. 7 nothing is our score. Greg and I back here in Cincinnati after this. First and 10. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way. Live to play another down. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Now Daniels. Open man left side is Brown. He's got it. 
And nice work after the catch. He stopped a little short of the first down marker, but it is a pickup of nine. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Third and a yard, it's Daniels. He's got the veteran Zach Ertz. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. And they're going to track him down. He couldn't find the receiver, and down he goes. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, but now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Throwing is Daniels. That one complete to Brian Robinson. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. There's a lot of ways to get the ball in the hands of your running backs, and it's not always by just handing it to them. In this case, it's a simple check down, picks up a good gain, brings up third down. Third and long. Here's Daniels. Now they'll set up the screen to Eckler. And they were hoping for a little more on that one. Brought down well short of the first. So it'll bring up fourth down. Just a little slow developing on that screen play there. It was pretty obvious to the entire defense exactly what was going on. Nobody was thinking pass. Nobody was getting back into their drops. And just nowhere for that back to go. Good snap. Good hold. Good kick. And the Commanders are on the board. It's 7 to 3. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This will be returned from the six. Now an opening past the 30. Still on the move. And he's going to take this all the way back. 94 yards. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Greg, it is a beautiful thing to watch. 11 come together. We always focus on the return man, but the entire special teams unit paves the way for that score. And all week, Mike, when you talk to this group, the coaches thought they had an advantage in the return game, and I think we can see why. They felt their scheme and their blockers was a great matchup against this kickoff unit, and in this case, it's very easy to see why. McPherson good on the extra point and the Bengals extend their advantage to 14 to 3 to the TD on is McPherson to kick this one away a safe kick taken at the five and he's down at the 23 and that's where the offense will take over 
The commander's offense headed back to take over once more. They trail now 14 to 3, so an 11 point deficit as they start things out with first and 10. Daniels now going to look to throw. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. Second down, and three. To throw is Daniels complete it's Jamison Crowder and he's going to get this one out to the 43 yard line do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive but now as they approach midfield continue to keep your foot on the gas don't get conservative don't start sitting on the ball cross midfield and go anytime you find yourself in your opponent's side of the field you have to be thinking points Right side brought in by Brown. Give him 15 more on that one. They are on the move. It's a first down. We spent so much time talking about these receivers. How fast do they run, Mike? How high do they jump? But so often, the guys that have the most success in the NFL, it's the mental part of the game. It allows them to create separation, find soft spots in the defense, attack defenders. It's exactly what he's able to do here, and really nice connection. Out of the gun. They give it to Eckler. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. You could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground. Like, there was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. They run it once more with Eckler. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Nice run there by Eckler. And he continues to be a productive back here in his eighth season in the NFL. And it's one of the main reasons why the commanders targeted him back in March. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. They'll throw with Daniel. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. you got to see someone separate. Work with your quarterback. Go into scramble second reaction mode, and it's also give some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. Throwing it right into the hands of his running back. He'll get about six before he's taken down. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel in. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Yes, you have to operate out of the backfield like a traditional running back. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, but he really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the commanders cut the lead to four. It's ten to six. So it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive, but at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, they'll take those three points. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Very good kickoff returnable from the four and he'll be brought down 
just beyond the 25-yard line. The Bengals' offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. The advantage is eight. We'll see if they can make this a two-score game on this drive. First down and ten. Working out of the gun, Burrow. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. And fortunately, this is going to get out of bounds, so possession does not change hands. A sigh of relief there. That was very nearly a turnover. Fortunate to see that one, Greg, get fumbled out of bounds. And when that ball came loose, Mike, you could see the entire sideline kind of holds their breath but they were able to take a little bit of an exhale as they saw that ball, fortunately for them, go out of bounds. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. With wide receivers, I think we spend so much time by talking about their speed and their route running, and of course that's critical, but the ability to not only catch the ball, but to concentrate on the bad throws. We used to have a saying, you get paid to catch the bad ones, and saw a great example of it here laying out going down to get this ball holding on through contact with the ground and it's a big time play two minutes remain here in this first half we'll come back to Cincinnati in a moment a good spot here second and a yard Burrow. Quick throw here is complete. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove. And there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way. Every play they call, you're wide open. And you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. On first down, Burrow. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. Sometimes, Mike, your greatest strength can also be a little bit of your weakness. In this case, he is so used to being able to buy more time with his feet, extend the play, give his targets more time downfield to uncover. In this case, nothing materializes, tried to do too much, and as a result, takes a big loss. Now a second down throw for Burrow. He'll try to set up the screen with Moss. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. They're going to motion the tight end over here. Burrow to throw. He'll try and get there on the ground. So a good chunk of yardage there, but still well short of the first down. Sometimes it's just a case of taking what the defense gives you. And, and here's one of those examples. There's nowhere for him to go with the ball for a minute. It looked like he was going to be able to pick up this first down with his legs. The defense rallies. Brings him down short of the first down marker. Sets up fourth down. And this is going to work out for him. Out of bounds, and they'll mark it inside the 10. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. 
And he'll have a commander's first down as he'll get this up to the 20. So, halftime here in Cincinnati, and the Bengals are on top. As we'll get you down to Orlando now, that's with the coaches, Jonathan Coachman, and our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Mike, thanks very much, and welcome, in everyone, to our Halftime Report. In that first half, it was Zach Moss who proved to be tough to stop. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. These two teams making their way back out of their locker room, so that means we're just about set for the second half. And to bring it your way, we go back out to Mike and Greg. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Bengals offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. They'll start this on the ground with Moss. They converge on him quickly. He'll only get a couple. Frankie Louvu there to make the play defensively. Second down and eight. Burrow. Passing right side, and Chase has it. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. Burrow from out of the gun here on third down. And he's going to have the first down, so they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. I can't tell you, Mike, how many of these offensive skill players around the league, they look at man coverage as like a personal offense. They, they, they can't imagine that a defensive coordinator would say, hey, we're just going to have one guy defend you all by himself. And after that last completion on the way back to the huddle, I think he had a few choice words for him. I think he said, hey, man, you can't guard me. That's over the middle and intercepted. That's the veteran linebacker, Bobby Wagner. So we saw in the first half, Mike, they were willing to take some risks. It allowed them to build this halftime lead. Now the opposing sideline, they're looking to fight back. They're looking to cut that lead down. That's what that coverage seemed. It looked like they baited that quarterback to force that errant throw and lead to that turnover. Now it's their offense coming back on the field with a chance to cut this deficit. Austin Eckler and the rest of the commander's offense back out onto the field the deficit is eight as this drive begins with first and ten off the RPO they'll get it to Brown Second and a yard. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. He finds the veteran Ertz. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And 
Listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. On first and ten, here's Daniel. This one complete right side. This is how you really judge quarterbacks operating in the NFL. This is not seven on seven. This is not summer camp where the quarterback can't be touched. Everybody can throw the ball from a clean pocket. Can you operate under the fire and be on time, in rhythm, and be accurate with the ball with contact? And we saw it played out perfectly here. His ability to push the ball downfield, knowing that hit was coming, that's playing quarterback in the NFL. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go. And he's forced to just throw it away. Inside the 10, it is caught. And he will get into the end zone. Terry McLaurin. Touchdown, Commanders. Just a beautiful ball there by the quarterback. And the point I want to make here, Mike, and make sure the viewer understands is in the NFL, if you have to wait for a guy to be open and then deliver the ball, it's too late. So often these quarterbacks throw their guy open. They anticipate where the void in the coverage is going to be. That's exactly the reason this play worked out here, Mike. And he's able to connect here for a big touchdown. And even though it's just the third quarter, we'll try to draw even right here and go for two. Even in the air, here's Daniels. And he will get in for the two. They open up the bag of tricks on the goal line and add a pair of points. We are all square, 14 apiece. The score as this one's away. Jones now on the return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Heading out now, the Cincinnati offense. They're going to get set to take over once more. This one, everything we could have hoped for to this point. All even at 14. They'll start this drive with first down. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. That's to his big tight end, Gasicki. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. I'm not sure what was the more difficult aspect of the play. Winning his route versus man coverage or catching this pass. Because that quarterback, he put a little extra sauce on that one to get it there on time. And he's able to secure a really nice catch. They go play action for Burrow. A high throw there, but a nice job to go up and get it. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays. And these drag routes can be very, very effective. Quick throw, taken in. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. To throw is Burrow. 
taken in by Gasicki. Look at the big guy rumble. And he's in. Mike Gasicki. Touchdown, Bengals. What a job to finish the play with a touchdown. The catch and carry in the carry part, Greg. That was the most impressive there. Well, you said it, Mike. The catch was nice. But it's what can you do after the catch that really separates guys in this league. And in this case, he did plenty because it ended up in a touchdown. On is McPherson for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Bengals have broken the deadlock as they move out to a 21-14 lead. to the TD. On is McPherson to kick this one away. He fields it at the 8. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The commander's offense and running back Austin Eckler are getting set for their next drive. They're searching here for the tying score. Down 21-14. And they'll begin first and 10. They'll go play action here with Daniels. Over the middle. He's got McLaurin. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. Great pre-snap recognition here by the quarterback. He looks outside and sees man coverage, and he knows exactly where he's going to go with the ball. Now it's up to the receiver to create separation at the top of the route. Ball's on time. Great placement. Nice big pickup. Whole lot of extra muscle over there on the left side for this first and ten. He's got his tight end. There's Ertz. He try to use that size to push forward, but it's not going to work. Defense strong up front. And they're going to get him down behind the line of scrimmage. Linebacker certainly wasn't fooled on that play. Not only does he get there in a hurry, but he's able to secure that tackle and bring him down for a loss. Off the play fake, here's Daniels. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. He'll get about six before he's taken down. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Third and short, and it's Daniels. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. Ten yards the gain on the pitch and catch. First down, Washington. Throwing again, Daniel. He's got his man on the in route. Yes, taken in over the middle. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor. And every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. If I'm this coordinator. I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. So, here's a first and ten now down inside the 20. Daniels going to throw again. Quick throw here is complete.
on the handoff. This is Eckler. And that should be enough. He works his way forward to pick up a first down. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. They've got it at the eight. First down and goal. Here's a run to the five-yard line. Now, here's second and goal. Again, it'll be Eckler. Looking for a seam, but will not find one. He'll take this down to the four-yard line. So, these two teams take the long walk to the opposite end of the stadium. We've come to the end of the third quarter. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Two plays at their disposal, but they'd love to get it right here on third and goal. To the goal line and in. Terry McLaurin. Touchdown, Washington. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. A huge touchdown there in the fourth quarter, and now just a point away from tying the game. And that's one of those drives, Mike, where you know your best is needed. Can you come through here late and give your team a chance? They're an extra point away from tying this thing up, and we got ourselves a ball game. So they're not level yet. A critical extra point attempt to follow. The kick is good, and that will tie this game here in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter, everything we've wanted. What's in store in the remaining time? And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Bengals offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. This one tight throughout, all level at 21, as they'll search for a go-ahead score. Here's first and ten. Working out of the gun, Burrow. Pass right side, and Higgins has the catch. About 15 yards to kick off the drive. It's a first down. You want to be a star in the NFL, Mike? These are the high-pressure moments that you can't shy away from. The greats, they embrace it. Tie ball game fourth quarter the game is on the line everyone in the stadium knows where that ball is going and I can't blame him he'll get this complete it's Moss really well done here by the defense Mike executing this zone defense and they've got to be able to pattern read you're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot based on what the receivers do off the line the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Every quarterback's dream is, can I get the ball out of my hand as fast as possible and get it to a guy that can do the rest after the catch? And it seems like nowadays, throughout the entire league, the best offenses thrive in yards after the catch on first and ten burrow 
Catch left side is made by Higgins. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hand, and results in a completion. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. Burrow now to throw on first down. Open man, downfield, Chase has it. 20 yards on that pass play. And the Bengals going to have a first down. There's a reason certain guys, Mike, just always seem to be open. It's really because route running is more art than it is science. How do you manipulate the defense to find open spots or win versus man to create separation and earn the trust of your quarterback? So not quite first and goal. It's first and 10. They're pretty close. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He's got to find a way to hold on to that one. I mean, you're right on the doorstep of the end zone. And listen, I understand that hit is coming. But guess what? That hit's coming whether you catch it or not. And you get paid to make the difficult catches. And I would classify that one as tough. But you got to make that catch. Give your team a chance to come away with this drive with some points. Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions, and he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there, picks up some good yardage, and gets down on the ground. They'll try to run this one in. And he's so close to breaking the plane, but the official's going to come in and mark him short. So now it's fourth down. So out now, Evan McPherson in a big spot. This to take the lead here in the fourth. And this one right down the middle. It's good. And they take the lead here in the fourth quarter. And this has been such a tight game, but that's a big one right there. I mean, you need a kicker with confidence. Well, this guy, he fits the bill. He steps up and knocks it through to give his guys a lead here in the fourth quarter. So they lead by three here in this fourth quarter. Now have to turn it over to the defense as they kick it off. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Here comes the number two overall pick, Jaden Daniels, with the rest of the commander's offense. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. You've got the two touchdown passes over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. Set to go now on first and 10. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. The key to good route running, Mike, is deceiving the man covering you into thinking you're doing one thing 
and then you change it and do the other. And in this case, he had the defender thinking this was a vertical downfield route. And then next thing you know, he gets to his break point. He breaks in, and that ball's put right on the money for a big pickup. Oh, he's got a man. That's caught by Brown. He's still on his feet, and he will go all the way. Diami Brown, touchdown commander. What a game this has been back and forth we go, and that fourth quarter score changes the lead one more time. And we've seen the lead go back and forth, Mike, and now the question is, can they get a stop? Can they find a way defensively to hang on to this lead and get themselves this big win? Now it's York for the PAT. It's up and good. And the Commanders have taken a four-point advantage. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Jones now on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Bengals offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. They trail by four. A touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. One complete to Higgins. They'll get 11 there. And that's a quick first down. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with. So they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. Second down, Burrow. He'll spot Higgins, who makes the grab. Time now becoming a factor as we get to third down. They'll run here. That's going to be pretty close. Looks like he's got it, and he does. First down. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did pick up the first down on first down burrow who else another catch for his favorite target so two minutes left to play in the second half greg and i back on ea sports after this it is second and a yard They'll drop to throw. There's that man again. Another catch. And they'll take this down inside the 35. All right, this is a good start. Plays like these are definitely going to help as you work your way into scoring range. 
While you have to be wary of the clock and keep an eye on it, they should have plenty of time here to finish this drive. Open man downfield is Brown. And he will score. Chase Brown, touchdown Cincinnati. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. We're seeing this so much all across the NFL, Mike, is the value placed on a receiver being able to turn into a runner after they're able to secure the catch. And sometimes it's easier said than done. But if you want to survive in this league as a wide receiver, you have to be able to make plays like this after the catch. And great job there by the quarterback being accurate. And great job by the receiver running after he makes the Now remember, all scoring plays are reviewed. Tight game, tight call. They're going to take a good long look at this one. At issue, did the ball cross the goal line? A reminder, it just needs to be the tip of the football just breaking the front of the plane where that white goal line begins. And it needs to be indisputable, which can sometimes be difficult with all those bodies in there. So take away the touchdown. The officials rule, in fact, he did not get the football across the plane of the goal line. Here is first and goal. Now, Burrow. It is brought in in the end zone. T. Higgins. Touchdown, Bengals. It seems to me they were kind of holding this play call for this exact situation, Mike. First and goal down here near the goal line, and they had this one worked up all week. Simple pitch and catch, and it works to perfection. An important extra point up and good, so the lead is three here in the late stages of the game. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. This taken in at the eight-yard line. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. The commander's offense and Jaden Daniels ready to take over once more. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes, Generally, one step ahead of the defense all game long. This is first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. Quick throw, taken in. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Daniels and this is a big problem going the wrong way out of bounds well behind the original line of scrimmage The crowd cranking it up another notch before third and long. From the shotgun on third down, Daniel. That is incomplete. Here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. 
They desperately needed that one, Mike. Down here late, they've only got a few remaining snaps to go, and it puts all of the pressure of the game now on fourth down. Let's see what play call they have in a gotta-have-it situation, and right now, this quarterback needs to make his best throw in the biggest moment of the game. And it's going to be a commander's first down. They convert in style. Huge play on fourth and long. To throw is Daniels. He finds the veteran Ertz. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down. Keep it in the air. Here's Daniels. He's got his tight end. There's Kurtz. And this is a touchdown. They were not going to be denied. And they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. That is yet another touchdown pass. What a game he is having. Throwing his fourth touchdown score of the game. It's one thing, Mike, to throw four touchdowns, but it's really the ease in which he's carved this defense up that has stood out the most. The defense has had no answers for this passing game, and he has just completely had his way with this group. York now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Commanders have taken a four-point advantage. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. He fields it at the 8. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The home team's offense about ready to take over once more. They'll do so with 1st and 10. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. This one complete right side. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. It's pretty evident, Mike, when a quarterback and his wide receiver are operating on the exact same page. The anticipation, the timing, the accuracy of the, both the route and the ball. And when they're working together like this, that's the definition of teach tape. To the left side, caught by Chase. And he'll be out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35-yard line. What a way to start this drive. A second big play. This one for 22. All three timeouts left. How much that's going to matter remains to be seen. Here comes first and 10. Working out of the gun, Burrow. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. They come up for second and two. 
Burrow to throw. Try him again. Another one to Higgins. That's catch three just on this drop. And it gets his team a first down. As this game continues to come down to the wire, Mike, it just reminds us, this is where quarterbacks earn their keep. You are judged by how you play in these critical moments. In fourth quarter, down a score, it doesn't get much bigger than this. Here's first down. To throw is Burrow. Taken in by Gasicki. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Here we go. One final play. This one caught at the four. And he'll be brought down there, and that'll put a wrap on this one. Time has expired in this fourth quarter. So a win here on the road for the Commanders. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long, everyone.